Hey everybody, Konaja here. Welcome back to Formula 1 2019. As we continue through season number two, our season with Ferrari, headed to Circuit Paul Ricard. One that uh, I had a hard time learning as it returned to the F1 calendar. The flat elevation, the wide open runoff, the paved paradise, makes it really hard to find your way around this track, and I still do struggle a little bit, especially with qualifying, so I'm a bit worried about qualifying today. However, I tend to race really well here. There's a good part of this track that I quite enjoy. Uh, there, there's some turns that I think are really fun, and I think the racing can actually be a lot of fun here. It's the hot lapping and qualifying that I tend to struggle with. And this weekend, I'm tending to struggle a lot with the car as far, far as tire temperature goes. Uh, especially in qualifying on the soft tire, it's wanting to put too much heat in these tires too fast. So it's definitely going to be a one run, or one lap run. But let's see what we can do here. Turn one, very hard to find. Flip the pylon, as you should. A little bit oversteer on the exit. My goal is to make the workers that put those pylons out work as hard as possible this weekend. I really, oh, back end just wants to step out on here. I really do feel like running fast here is a matter of how much curb you dare use. Even on the exit right there, it's difficult to get down to the power on the curb, but you gotta do it. Now we're gonna load these left side tires up pretty significantly down into my favorite turn on the track. Flip the inside curb, flip the outside curb. That is a Super challenging, but really rewarding set of turns if you hit it right. Didn't really hit it right there. You can definitely do better than this. It wasn't a disaster of a lap, but it just wasn't great either. Three point, or point three eight behind Verstappen. That might be good enough to get us through. But we gotta find some time for Q2 and Q3. Alright, so not amazing results here in Q1. Sabettle, Sabettle? <laughs> That's my new name for him. Sabettle. Uh, up there in P1 at a 129.82. I'm down there in 12th at a 131.2. I only did one run, he did two, and I definitely feel like there's a ton more time in our car. I don't know that I'm ever going to hit 29s though. That doesn't seem within our reach, so just getting to Q3 might be our primary goal today. All right, we're gonna try like hell to get our Q2 run done in one lap, but I think we're gonna struggle here. I have a I have a bad feeling about qualifying, just judging by how Q2, or sorry, Q1 was going. The rest would be nice. I'm gonna give it everything I've got here, though. I already had to chase the car, which isn't good. He's all the curb to let you. Got down to the power really nicely there, though. That was not a disastrous first sector. I'd like to be somewhere in the mid 31s to feel comfortable. All the curb to let you. Gotta get everything we can out of this place. And then some. Nice run there. Too much speed going into this turn though and it screwed it up.
I feel like that one wide turn probably cost us our 30. That was a 30.7. Okay, all right. I don't know if I feel amazing about that, but it should be... Did I say 31 before? Because I meant 30. It should be good enough to get us through, but we'll just have to see. I certainly don't want to have to do another run. All right, well, we do get through P7. Still, though, I can't cover Vettel right now at a 30. Oh, I, I feel like that lap had only one little mistake in it that maybe cost us two tenths, and the rest of it was me getting the most out of the car. So I don't know what to expect at a Q3 here other than maybe mediocrity. All right, we're starting our Q3 lap attempt number one behind Leclerc, who I think is probably the favorite for pole here. As much as it pains me to say that. And I'm hoping I can pick up a little bit of a toe from him. I'm hoping he's actually, actually, I'm hoping he's actually on his hot lap here. I don't see any reason he wouldn't be. That was a very nice run through sector one. Definitely getting a bit of a toe here. This is good. And he's kind of helping me not overdrive the car as well. This, this might be our best shot for pole here. He doesn't hold me up down here. That was pretty beautifully driven there. Bit of a toe here as well. A little bit of understeer from the dirty air there. That should be faster than him. We definitely closed. Yeah, a 30. Oh, I don't think that's going to be pole. But that's probably the best lap that I will turn here. Uh, I think that was the perfect situation. And I read traffic perfectly there to uh, to get myself a little bit of a toe. And that's definitely a thing that happens in the real world of F1. That is, that is part of the tactics and part of the reason nobody ever wants to be the first car to leave for the last session. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we'll see how that stands. Hello and welcome to the Circuit Paul Ricard, current home of the French Grand Prix, an event dating all the way back to 1906. It's been held at many venues over the years, with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Bottas, Red, Pierre Gasly, and Hamilton, Sainz, Raikkonen, Perez, and Max Verstappen. Norris, Hulkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, and Grosjean, Butler, Ricardo, Lance Stroll, and Alexander Elbon, Giovinazzi, and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. Um okay, we're looking for a top three finish today. Okay, we have a good chance of doing that. Starting P4. Got beaten by Vettel and Leclerc once again in qualifying today, but P4 is uh, is a heck of an effort for a car that I don't think I was particularly happy with in qualifying trim. So the race strategy today is soft, medium, medium. Again, look at that cloud at the very end of the weather forecast. Right at the end of the race, apparently we're going to get a little drizzle, so that should throw a, a lovely wrench into our plans. We do, however, have the option of doing the soft to medium extended run if we go for our personalized strategy. That would have us running a race that is allegedly 10 seconds faster than if we pit. Uh, twice, that is. I'm tempted to go with the strategy because if we go for this one, we're going to get stuck in traffic here. So I'm going to give it a try. I know it's going to be tough. I know it's going to be hard to maintain the tires, but I think it's our only chance for a win or maybe even a podium today. So let's do it. All right, so this strategy, I don't think it's critical 
to push too hard here. Really good off the lights. Pretty good launch as well. Somebody's trying to take it way to the inside here. You gonna take it three wide? Yeah, we are. I got somebody to the left of me though. I don't know who it is. I don't want to lose these front two. Okay, we cleared. Good start. I think that was worth being that aggressive. Vettel gets a good start. Takes the lead. But now I need to focus on trying to save these tires because we're going to try and run these things out. Hard to save tires when you're under attack, though. There is an attack for the Lee as well. That definitely cost us some time to those front two. Let's hope they stay side by side here. Not quite. They are pushing each other quite hard. Don't give up this inside lane. Nice, nice. Completing energy on lap one here. So if we have enough speed without the energy. Uh, let's protect this inside lane. That didn't work out for us. Both of us tried to stick it in there where uh, it, was, it was not going to clear, basically. I think I should just defend the outside into turn one from now on. Front two are leaving us. This has not been the ideal way for this to go. I wanted to hang with those front two and separate ourselves from the pack. Unfortunately, we are the pack. It's not ideal. We're gonna keep getting sailed on as well. Aggressive over the curbing there. It almost feels like I have too much downforce on the car the way I'm getting past. On the straightaway like that. This is not good for our tire wear. Boy, today's gonna be a sail fest at this rate. Just kind of the fun of this track. There is lots of opportunity to do that. Oh, a bad exit there is not gonna help us. We don't even have a good draft. So. Gotta make sure we maintain Gasly DRS range. Which I think we did Just visually. Okay, that's good. Bit of trouble on exit there, but we got into the draft, which is good. Should keep us from attack now. I'm going to take this opportunity to try and not overuse these tires now because I feel like I've used them a lot more than I wanted to early on. Just because we have DRS doesn't mean we can't be passed here. I 
my willingness to use a lot more curve there is helping me. Not really regaining the battery power I was hoping we would here. Snarling pack behind us. I'm glad we're not short pitting. That would be a disaster. Nice run through the chicane there. Those front two are racing each other so much that they're actually slowing each other down. I've definitely been able to save tire now. one of the few tracks where following another car can actually help you. A lot of the times, modern F1 tracks, following a car is a disaster. Doesn't seem to be the case here. I'm starting to build some charge back up. I think not putting direct attacks on Gasly has helped him maintain a pace that's helping collect those front two back up into the mix. I'm basically using the draft and the DRS to keep us with them instead of trying to use the tires. That only works as long as we don't have an attack from Hamilton or Botas, whoever that is behind us. Curious when front runners are gonna to start to peel off. No way he was gonna make that move. Starting to feel a little bit held up at this point. Maybe Gasly's tire is starting to go to the wayside. Gotta be careful with that wide entry. If somebody tried to stick their nose in there. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. I was hoping. We would be kind of the only ones doing this longer run, but it, so far it doesn't seem to be that way. I would have expected front runners to be pitting, well, maybe this lap, actually. We'll see. If they pit this lap, they're doing two stoppers, I would say. wide exit there. Kind of just gave us some breathing room for a lap. Part two have kind of settled out for the moment, which has helped them build that gap again. Back end of the car just wanted to snap around on me there. Gotta watch out for that. Took me by surprise because the rear tire temps are good. A few more slides and they won't be though. Okay, Vettel is pitting now, so he's on the two stopper. Sebastian is in the pits. Pretty good mix of strategy here. Of course, we got pairs of cars, so you gotta imagine most of the other cars are gonna pit this lap. And then I think we pit the following. So our tires initially are gonna be pretty much the same. It's later in the race where it's gonna be. If things go to plan, we'll have a big gap to the lead 
and then cars behind us on newer tires trying to chase us down. With this extra battery power, I'm going to use that on our inlap. Try and have as good of an inlap as possible. The pipe, the, the pipe, despite it having its moments, I feel like our tires are still plenty good enough to do another lap or two or three or four. I don't remember how many it was. That was confusing. Okay, Leclerc might be on the same strategy as us with the one stopper. See so you stayed out. I got a few that have stayed out, actually. All right, so definitely some variance in strategy here. Let's see what we can do first for Stappen here. This is our inlet, so we're gonna give it all that it's got left in it. No way I can defend against the DRS here. Well, let's just let that happen. Use this draft. And hope it pulls us along. Okay, the tires are definitely displeased with this. Pit now. Pit now. Got to imagine everybody up here will be pitting. We might have some midfielders who aren't, who started on new mediums or something. Or even new softs. Nice pit entry. Come on team, let's try and get us out in front of this racing point. Should be no traffic behind us. 1.9. Oh yeah, nice job. Held them too. All right, there's all the cars that started on mediums and hards. Uh, Leclerc, everybody else is on hards. We are on mediums. Well, Interesting. No more scheduled pit stops. Well, that's actually kind of a good situation for me. I didn't want to be out there alone on track. I wanted to be around other cars. I just don't know where this is all going to shake out at this point. And then of course there is the closing weather. This will be a mighty big run. Perez is still out here on softs. So I don't know how that's possible. As tempting as it is to run this thing to its maximum, these tires have a long way to go. Assuming we don't go to enters at the end or anything. Red's still not pitting, unless he's gone for more softs or something. It's possible. Oh, he must have, because he's just turned fast lap. That's good information. We know we don't necessarily need to be running him down. to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. 10 to 15. That's well within race distance.
That's Botas in front of us on new softs. Ton of different strategies going on here. Makes me wonder if they are trying to play the weather game or something. It's not a terribly long race because this track is so fast. But even though it's not a terribly long race, there's so much tire degradation due to the amount of grip on the track and just the amount of constant loading you're putting on the tires. Alright, so then we got Leclerc, Botas, Perez ahead of us. Leclerc, I think, is the one on our strategy. And if he's on those hards, he's going to be struggle busting because those tires are awful here. No, he's on... No, he is on the hard, yep. I hope that strategy doesn't work out for him, because we really need some points on him. where I'm going to go with this run. It's kind of a waste. I think by the end of the day, this is going to be basically a battle for the front of the pack here. Once pit strategies start to come around, a lot of people haven't pit yet, which is shocking. That snarling pack is back. This is good. It's helping us save some tire. Because we're not running full pace. The player is the car I'm racing. I feel like that's our... main objective, is just to finish ahead of Leclerc. I must have run too much downforce because I had nothing for them there. Watch this front wing in this ugly pack of cars. Oh, wrong way. Okay, we got some that are peeling off finally. That puts us P9, P10. Still some to go. I think. But I think Vettel's managed to get himself out ahead of this whole pack. But he's got a pit again. For sure. And the really good news is I have saved a bunch of tire, I think.
So Perez, we know, has to pit again. And we're still within sight line of Leclerc, who isn't pitting again. Hope you all brought your notebook out for this one. There's a lot to keep track of. Like that one day in class where the teacher says, and now take out that composition book. And you look down your backpack and think shuffle around in it, knowing fully well that you don't have a composition book. All right, now we are P6. And this pack is beginning to thin out. Once Leclerc clears whoever that is ahead of him, <laughs> uh, that's going to split this pack. He's going to leave. Oh, Gasly, okay. So we need to try and get around some cars here if we can. I'm doing great at it, though. I see a cloud cover rolling in. He's done it very quickly and efficiently. That's not great news for us. Definitely just way too much wing on my car. I gotta hope these guys are all fitting this lap. That's a better forecast. Please be within DRS range. Yes, okay. We might be good after all. Unsure of what I should do at this point. Should I ride behind him and try to save tire? Should I try to pass him and gap him? I don't know that I have the pace to pass him and gap him. I think either way, I have to stay behind him for a lap or two to rebuild energy. Tempted to look at the tire data to see how they're holding up. Okay, that's better than I thought they were going to look. So that's encouraging. It seems like the data was right that we just were not using a lot of tire here. I'm curious when Vettel pits again or if he has already pit again. Teammate update? Teammate? I guess that's not a thing. I just want to know what diary is on. How dare I inquire of such things?
I feel like I have the corner paints the battle of the straightaway speed is what's bothering me. Alright, there he goes now. Sebastian's in for his stop. If it doesn't rain, this is a very important battle. If it does rain, then I have no idea what's going to happen in this race. Oh man, his apex speed was real low there. Making me wonder if I should try to get around at this point. We couldn't make this move here. That's tough to skein a bit there. Is he gonna try to go too wide here? Most certainly is. Man, how did he make that stick? That's insane. That's actual insanity. Especially when he's struggling for grip everywhere else. Bit of a false run there. Just getting him crossed up. I think our fuel calcs were a little off. Just running a different pace here. So I'm gonna save some fuel. Should have been doing that the last couple laps. Seb's got a long way to go to get here, and his tires are going to be tired by the time he does get here. So I'm not too worried about his charge towards the front. And I'm not too worried about Verstappen either. So I really do think this is just between the two of us. I do think Leclerc has the upper hand here. He's just got better tires for the end of the race. And clearly better straightaway speed. I think we have a better car in some of the slower turns. And it might not be enough. I'd love to push him into a big mistake and slide off somewhere. Okay, don't think we're far away from some rain. I'll keep you updated as the conditions change. I'm just going to ignore that and pretend it's not happening. This should be that same exact pass from before. Not really. He must have turned his engine mode up. Didn't stick. And it's hard to do side by side there. I'm glad I recognized what was going on there early enough to, uh, catch the slide and not spin out. I could tell pretty much by mid chicane that it was going to not stick on exit.
us going back and forth is giving Vettel a second chance in this race. There he goes, sitting fast lap. That was a 33 to our 35. Oh yeah, he'll be here by the end. Kinda depends on Verstappen, I suppose. How much of a fight. Mode four this time around. And an even later move. All right. Much cleaner. And let's see what we can do. This is not great. Those deltas all over the place. These deltas all over the place. What the heck? didn't change much of anything. There's the rain. Here I says disabled. That's good news for us, because that means he won't have it right here. Let's try to gap. Ignore the rain. Even though they are superhuman and changing conditions, we're just going to ignore that. Unbelievable! I can't... Can't defend against that! That's wild. This is what I mean, how... In changing conditions, they don't know that the track has changed. I don't... I don't feel like they... Are susceptible to slicks in the wet until it's like... At the point where... Inners are best. Kind of rough, rough news for us. And it appears we're not going to get DRS back. Doesn't mean we're not going to have draft, though. Oh, man. Oh, we did get it back. Never mind. Just kidding. That's Vettel behind us now. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Throw that into the mix. Hopefully that VSC kind of hurt his chances there. If the rain's going to stay like this, we'll be all right. If he gets any heavier than this, we're screwed. 
Basically, if they disable DRS, that's when I'll know our chances are done. He has definitely turned up the wick. Something, something fierce here. Fifteen minutes till we expect the heavy rain to arrive. The player locks him up. Slipper down here. We held him. Oh, I hear Vettel. That's not good. I hear him. It's not a perfect situation, but I don't think we have cause to move on to a different tire yet. Especially in low grip conditions, he is going to be flying. Not expect the, the charge from the outside there. I was intentionally leaving the bottom open. Oh, it's slippery down here. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Oh, this fuel situation is not good. All right, he's got us here. Right? Why would you try the outside there? That was pretty solid contact. I don't... I don't understand why the outside there. And then the inside here. Metal's here. Whoa! I don't think you had that turn, bud. I think you wrote a check you couldn't cash there. Trying to save fuel where I can. Because it's going to be close. So that'll go three wide here. He didn't. He's in second place, though. Just remember, Vettel's not primary target. Blair is. Oh, they got into each other. They definitely got into each other there. Something transpired between them. Or Vettel had some kind of problem. Because Leclerc has gotten back around. And they are in a fight. Basically, lean mix traction control now. Somehow, there's still two laps to go in this race.
The player's still holding him off. He is not willing to give that fight up. Hey, we'll take one of those. Just like sliding around in the rain. Big push there. I am surprised they still have DRS on, but I guess it's not that wet. Our Vettel has re-cleared. These conditions are nuts. Absolutely nuts. Do not touch that paint. That would be awful. Just tippy towing. Go cargo. I think we have enough of a gap right now. It's all gonna come down to that back straightaway, though. Boy, if we make it that far, the way he just closed there. Put them versus each other, basically. Didn't really happen. Oh, he's got a big run. He won't get here, though. Alright, there's one major passing opportunity left, and that's down here. I think I need to cover the inside a bit if I can. It's super wet. I can't do it. Oh, he slid as well. Oh, it just went to wet. DRS is disabled. He slid as well. Slid into me. DRS has been disabled by the stewards. DRS will be offline. There's no way. Oh, as long as we get out of this turn. I think we got it. Ho! Ho! Great drive. We did it. Good job. Great drive. I think so. Oh, man. That was some effort. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Anthony Davidson. How do you think they were able to set themselves oh, up Oh, I'm today? just like slumped back in my chair. Once again to good, consistent driving. Nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team's strategies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Podium, All that's boring. You can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class oh. win for a world-class team. Take Ferrari, that, Leclerc. Do it again. Yeah, give me your half-hearted class. <laughs> Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Wow, look Charles at that fast Leclerc lap. currently leading the championship standings, extends his lead even further with this result. No, now, he doesn't. Let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say Absolutely is a does not. for driver of the day? I have to say, Sebastian Vettel certainly caught my eye during today's race. Incredible driving. Let's move on to the constructors. Whoa, 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 the whoa, the whoa, table. There was also whoa, a strong showing from the McLaren team today. Driver of the day, the Vettel, it's been an who started first, finished second. Of One action. That's I can't just rude. Wait to see what's next. Uh, all right, Ferrari up on top now in constructors. 
Leclerc only three points in the lead. Vettel 17 back. Hamilton 17 back. Kimi continues to have an awful season, not helping his teammate at Alpha at all. How did he do here? P8. Yeah, really, really underperforming there. Let's look at some highlights. Hopefully it has some. I knew it. I knew this track was going to be a struggle for me to qualify, but in the race, we were going to be tough, and uh, we certainly were. I'm glad I went for the one-stop strategy. I think that was a key. I definitely think that was a key. There was, yeah, there was some dicey wheel-to-wheel -wheel action as well. a bit offline at times. A lot of these highlights could be improved, just if they'd show a little bit more before and after them. So far, not the highlightiest of highlights, but, you know. You know, they're tried. They tried. Pit stops is what we're seeing now. There were so many different strategies in this race, too. That was pretty wild. There was people that went medium hard, hard medium, soft, soft, medium, soft, or medium, soft, medium, I think, and then a soft, medium, medium. Tons of strategy. And you love to see it. Are we going to get any of these late race moves in here or no? There's us hunting. Hunting Leclerc. Dicey move there. He tried to make something happen. Slow-mo shots. We are already 1-2 at this point, so... Pretty much missed all the passes. Oh! Oh, that was so close. I don't think I reacted nearly enough to how big of a move that was. <laughs> uh, it definitely started to dump down rain there at the end. And then the next turn it ran wide, but luckily Vettel did not hit the bottom at all, so he also ran wide. Lucky. All right. That is France. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time. Day today. Let's have your take on it. I'd say.